welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get all the latest bedroom forensics straight to your emails. Anyway, I'm always banging on about comparisons to CSI and law and order, etc., etc., etc. I know there is some bedroom forensics bingo going on. So today I've expanded my moaning to include movies. <laughs> and we are going to look into whether movie deaths are realistic. Hmm, let me think about that for a minute. Well, let's start with a very popular neck snap. Uh, it seems to always be effective and kills super quickly. Usually those people doing the snapping are super strong or martial arts experts, so we don't get taken out of the movie because we already expect them to be superhero-like. And while we're watching it, we think, gosh, yeah, of course. That's obviously how you're gonna kill someone. But is that how it really works? Well, the neck has seven vertebrae and a whole bunch of nerves. Now snap the wrong vertebrae and you can survive or become paralyzed, but you are still living your life. So first off, it isn't really a surefire way to kill. Or obviously super quick. You really need to stop oxygen from getting into the brain and that's controlled by nerves. Now they come out of the third, fourth and fifth vertebrae. Now severing or severely injuring the spinal cord at this level will paralyze the diaphragm and stop air going into the lungs. The brain will then swell as it loses its supply of blood and then it pinches the vagal nerve which stops the heart. Now, by this method, a person could become unconscious within 20 seconds and dead within 20 minutes. Now, that's quite a long time, and it seems quite instantaneous, instantaneous in the movies. But the cause of death would be respiratory arrest leading to cardiac arrest and death. So it's suffocation in a nutshell, not as quick, not as quiet as the movies make it. In fact, it takes so much strength to snap a neck that spinal and neck manipulation is allowed in certain martial arts competitions such as the UFC and other MMA events. But there's always a time to tap out before injury. So if there's time for that, then is there going to be a quick death on the floor? Well, some of you may think, well, hang on a minute, isn't it quite similar to death by hanging? Well, kinda. The long drop, which is used in some places for execution, is guaranteed to break the neck. Now, this is supposedly kills you quicker and is humane. But then again, who has come back from a death by hanging to say otherwise? So oversimplified there. So in a nutshell, can death be caused by neck snapping? Well, yes, but it's not actually the cause of death and it's definitely not as quick or as silent as in the movies. So use your imagination next time you watch a movie. Hope you enjoyed this, a little bit of a lesson today. And don't forget to subscribe, 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 subscribe.